Hello students, in this video, I am going to discuss divergence of a vector point function. As we know here, suppose v vector is given as v1 i cap plus v2 j cap plus v3 k cap. It is denoted as a vector point function. So divergence of this vector point function is denoted by this div of v vector. And how it is defined, divergence of v vector is del dot v vector. It is already known that this del is equal to i cap partial by partial x plus j cap partial by partial y plus k cap partial by partial z. So, how I can utilize del and v vector here? It would be like divergence of v vector is, we will just put the value of del here, that is i cap partial by partial x plus j cap partial by partial y plus k cap partial by partial z dot product with v1 i cap plus v2 j cap plus v3 k cap. Now, as we know, as per the dot product, I will write it here. Suppose there is a vector that is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap. And there is one another vector b vector which is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. So how the dot product will be considered here between a vector and b vector? That will be just like a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3. The same funda we will apply here. So divergence of v vector is just i as we know i cap dot i cap is 1, j cap dot j cap is 1, k cap dot k cap is 1. So only partial by partial x of v1 plus this of v2, partial by partial y of v2 plus this partial by partial z of v3. In short, we know here that divergence of v vector is partial v1 by partial x plus partial v2 by partial x actually partial v2 by partial y it is not x it is partial v2 by partial y plus partial v3 by partial z so this is our final formula of divergence again i am repeating it Divergence of v vector is partial v1 by partial x plus partial v2 by partial y plus partial v3 by partial z. There is one observation in this particular result and the observation is like this. We will apply divergence. We will apply divergence upon vector point function we will apply divergence upon vector point function and a scalar point function will be obtained and a scalar point function and a scalar point function will be obtained as divergence is applied over a vector point function and this value is just related to the scalar field. So this is one good aspect here of divergence. Thereafter, it is time to discuss few examples of divergence. First example is here, a few examples, I mean to say few questions here. So first question is here, find the divergence, find the divergence of position vector 
find the divergence of position vector that is r vector and which is provided by x i plus y j plus z of k now how to how to get the divergence of position vector divergence of r vector means del dot product with r vector that is del is i k partial by partial x plus j k partial by partial y plus k k partial by partial z dot product with this r position vector r vector that is x i plus y j plus z k i mean to say i cap j cap k cap so as we are aware of the concept of dot product of two vectors so it will be partial by partial x of this x plus partial by partial y of this y plus partial by partial z of this z and we know this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so what is our final answer divergence of position vector is equal to 3 so this is the solution of our first question now it's time to discuss few more questions of divergence so i'm heading towards the next question of divergence in this one suppose a suppose a vector is defined like x square i cap plus y square j cap plus z square k cap and we have to find find that divergence of this particular vector so as we are now aware of the basic definition of divergence so it would be like divergence of v vector is del dot v vector del dot v vector means here del means i cap partial by partial x plus j cap partial by partial y plus k cap partial by partial z dot of what dot of this v vector that is x square i cap plus y square j cap plus z square k cap now as per the dot product of two vectors i will be getting partial by partial x of this x square plus partial by partial y of this y square plus partial by partial z of this z square so it is like 2x plus 2y plus 2z i mean to say it is 2x plus y plus z so that is the value of divergence of v vector suppose in the same question we have to find this is just additional statement here we want to find divergence of v vector at point 1 2 and 3 so by this particular formula what will be the updation divergence of v vector is this particular value to x plus y plus z at the given point p and p is equal to 1 2 and 3 so divergence will be updated at this point it will be 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 2 equal uh, 2 into 3 plus 3 or 2 into 6 that is 12 so in this question i have evaluated divergence of a vector for the given vector point function and then i have evaluated divergence of the same vector at the given point so students in this particular video basic definition of divergence is discussed along with that 
two questions of divergence are discussed thank you so much for watching this video